everyone. I'm Corporal Braddock, St. John's County Sheriff's Office. This is Deputy Fultz. We're here with the Marine Unit. As everybody comes out to the waterways for the great sun in the summertime. These are the safety tips we want you guys to be aware of and what we're looking for on the water when we're out there. You're gonna need a life jacket for everyone on board. Uh, properly sized, adult, child, however, and it must say Coast Guard approved. It's gonna to need to have no rips, tears, no buckles are broken. Also gonna need a sound making device. It could be a whistle or a horn, as long as it's functional on the boat. The type four throwable that you're gonna need, you could have something similar to this, a uh, life ring, or it could be a boat cushion. Uh, as long as it says type four throwable, US Coast Guard approved on it, that will be satisfactory. The other things you're gonna need is a fire extinguisher. It's going to need to have a date on it that's within 12 years and it's going to need to either show green on the dial or need to have the plunger that is green. For every bridge in St. Johns County, there's gonna be a slow speed zone or an idle zone. Remember, you are also always responsible for your wake, whether you're in a slow speed zone or not. If you're going to drink, please do not drive your vessel. Law enforcement will be out looking for impaired drivers and impaired operators. If you have a VHF radio, keep the radio on channel 16 for hailing and distress. This way, if you have an emergency, you can get others to help you. If you venture offshore to go fishing or otherwise, please follow a float plan with family members or friends. That way, if you do not make it back or you're late, someone will know where you are. This summer, St. John's County Sheriff's Office and partnering agencies will be out on the water trying to keep you safe.